Hi, I'm David the Bruce. This is Jungle Queens, and this is part three of The Jungle Drums of Africa, 1953, Republic Serial. And it was one of the more expensive ones that they did, uh, and, and yet it, it came in under budget. And uh, we still have it, and we are happy to show it. It stars Phyllis Coates, who we've been featuring uh, because she's our jungle king, queen of the moment. Uh, in this particular one, she's not really a queen uh, as we generally know our jungle queens, but she is a medical missionary continuing the work of her father who died as a medical missionary in Africa, and she's helping people. So she is a woman leader in the jungles, and she's taking down bad guys. So that to me makes her an Amazon, makes her a, a queen in the jungle. And uh, so, therefore, that's why I stuck her in this. Now, she had quite a role. She was one of the most um, employed actresses in all of Hollywood in the 50s and the 60s. And yet, she's not remembered for very many films. She was in I Was a Teenage um, uh, Frankenstein. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's a notable film. But all of her films, most of them anyways, were B films, uh, and B films would show before a feature film. When you went to the theater, uh, particularly in the 30s and the 40s, uh, you didn't just go to see one film, the feature film, no. It was uh, two films, there was a B film, and then there was the feature film, and then there would be cartoons and travel logs and, and um, um, movie newsreels that would show. Man, when you went to the theater, this was pre-television, 30s and the 40s, you were in for a whole night of entertainment, just like what you do now with television, so it did at the, at the theater. And the theaters weren't that expensive then either. Uh, it, was a, it was a great bargain and people loved it. The, the box office was, was swimming with customers back then. Not so much these days, but swimming back then. And um, uh, Phyllis um, also had a... Um, long career, not just as a, um, in, in film, but, you know, she started out in the 40s as a pinup model. She was a showgirl in vaudeville. She had a lot going on for her before she got into uh, movies, and then she was even more successful at that. And she worked all the way from the 40s, all the way to the 1990s on Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman, as Lois Lane's mother. Wow, what a career. How, what is that now? We got the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Wow, wow, amazing woman. <laughs> I'm David the Bruce. Let's watch the last four episodes of The Jungle Drums of Africa.
Maybe bad man from other tribe try to kill white woman doctor. All right, that's all. He doesn't know. I'll bet all the bananas in Africa he rigged up the whole deal. I'm afraid you may be right. But I always make it a point to trust my people and to believe in them. So in spite of Naganto's past record, I hesitate to take action against him until I've been presented with the actual evidence. We can watch every move he makes until he does do something. Oh, that sounds easy, but it might take weeks. We've got to get busy if we're going to find enough uranium to establish the concession the chief has given us. So we'll split up the job. That ledge of ore in the hills is the next thing we've got to work on. Now you take some of the chief's men, set up camp there, and start digging. Carol and I'll keep our eye on Naganto. Okay by me. Come on, Carol. That's his voodoo hut where he goes to make medicine. We can't get much closer without being seen. No, but we better wait and see what he does. like this trail's been used the most. If he comes any closer, I'll have to shoot. Shot scared him off. Probably scared Nagato off, too. But we might as well keep going. If he'd gone this way, his tracks would show in that soft dirt. He must have taken another trail. We might as well go back. I'd like to take a look at that voodoo, honey. All right. Can't be much in there. He wouldn't keep it wide open like this. It's safe enough. No native would dare come near it. usual amount of voodoo junk. A charred note. Why, something's written on it. I can make out one word. Noon. What could that mean? It could mean that Gunner was still working with some white men. Probably on another plan to get rid of us. Even so, that's hardly enough evidence to have him arrested. And you're right. We'll still have to keep on trailing him. If we can. Maybe we can figure out a way to do that, too.
Well, did you find him? No, I didn't. But I left a note for him in his voodoo hut. You sure you can read it? Sure. I told him to meet me at the trail forks tomorrow noon. Okay. There's some dynamite for him. I thought we was going to lay off of that rough stuff. There'll be nothing rough about this. It'll be the perfect accident. You see this dynamite? It's almost pure nitroglycerin. Several times stronger than the stuff that they're using. They're going to get quite a surprise when they set that off. Well, how do we get it to them? Easy. The guy don't knows where they're working. All he's got to do is sneak into their camp tomorrow night and mix this right in with some of the dynamite they're using. Hell, I see what you mean. Here he comes now. Watch it. Legato. Good morning. I have a present for you. What? A medicine stone. You carry this in your pouch. It'll bring you good luck. Sure it does. I built this indicator up out of a Geiger counter. There's enough uranium in that piece of ore I gave Nagano to register for quite a distance. Shall we go now? Might as well. We can stay quite a way behind them. Got my note, all right. Me good. What you want?
Well, we missed them again. But at least we know Nagano's back working with Regis. The way Kurgan stood up for that witch doctor, it looks like he's in on it, too. Do you really think so? What can we do about it? Let's go to camp and talk it over with Bert. All right. Now that they've seen you with Nagano again, they probably suspect me, too. We'll have to wipe them out before they get to the police. But I don't even know where they are. Nagano can tell you. The spies are watching them all the time. Have him get all the men he can to help you. Promise them anything. Guns, liquor, anything. But be sure that you finish the job this time. Get going. Now. I still can't believe that Mr. Kurgan is mixed up in all this. He's always been considered a legitimate traitor. Well, that may be true, Carol. Let's review some of the things that have happened to us since we arrived here in Africa. The day Regis tried to lose us in the jungle, we went to Kurgan's trading post. And... Hey, this is Regis's Jeep. It sure is. How do you suppose he got here so fast? We'll find out. Hey, I want to talk to you! Hey, this is a private fight. Kurgan, I own this post. Well, I'm Alan King. This fella tried to lose us in the jungle yesterday. Is he one of your men? Uh, of course not. He's just a shoestring trader and a guide. What's he doing there? Uh, why, he just dropped in and said he wanted to talk to you. I don't want to talk to him. I've told you before that I didn't want you around here. Now get out! I'm sorry this had to happen on my property, Mr. King. Anything I can do for you? Why, yes, there is. Well, I'll be glad to drive you into town. I can leave in about an hour. Well, fine. That'll give us time to get back to the village and tell Miss Bryant we're leaving. Well, I'll be ready when you get back. Thanks. Good afternoon. Kurgan's story about Regis sounded all right at the time. He knew we'd be coming out in the truck the next day. So he had plenty of time to set a trap for us. That's good enough. Send one of the men down to the bend to watch for the truck. Onangimote Oradia. Ishwana. Detonator for this job. It's going to be hard to time that fuse just right. Stop arrows. 
No good. Yeah, take this and keep him busy. I'll fix that. <laughs> Sounds like only one man with a gun. And he's a rotten shot. He's still good enough to keep us pinned down. Here. He must be an African hand grenade. They'll have to do better than that to hurt us. This time. They're getting better. Still not good enough. Little bang, no good. Yeah, I guess you're right. We'll give them a big one this time. Send that tree down. Be on our way. I'll admit it looks like Kurgan might have something to do with it, but we still don't have enough evidence to have him arrested. No, not yet. We may be able to dig up something. Let's check over those supplies we got from him. behind these boxes.
Turn her out. Back to Kurgan's trading post. Make sure they don't trail me. Be fixed. They know, fellow. Base of Ladonga, Nuevo. Come. Why don't we report Regis to the police? They'll run him down and maybe he'll talk enough to implicate Kurgan. Yeah, maybe. We can't count on it. If we could just catch Regis reporting to Kurgan, we'd have the goods on him for sure. He might not go back there this time. But why don't you two go to the trading post and watch it? I'll trail him in case he doesn't go there. That's a good idea, Carol, but. I hate to have you chasing that bunch alone. I've been getting along quite a few years in the jungle alone. I could trail him much better than you could without being seen. There's no doubt about that. Go ahead. Right. We cross. There. I guess it'll be all right. We lose this end.
truck here. Right. Hey, his Jeep's gone. Well, this might be a good chance to do a little checking up. What do you mean? Well, if Kurgan's really in on the deal, he might have some letters and papers around that might incriminate him. He wouldn't leave anything like that lying around. I mean, he might have to, Bert. If he's trying to get a mining concession for another company, there's bound to be some contracts or some legal papers around. It's worth a try anyhow. I do for you. Come to look through Kurgan's papers. Like to help us? Why? I can't let you do that. I'm afraid you can. Bert, find some rope and we'll tie him up. Turn around. here but bills and invoices. Hey, the drawer's locked. Maybe we can find a key. I suspected you two for a long time, and I've cut you red-handed. Well, I'll admit this looks bad, Kurgan. You'd better listen to our story before you do anything rash. Yes? Well, first, I think I'd better get those guns before you do anything rash. Speak your piece, and it better be good. I'd be perfectly justified in shooting you both down for burglars. You know your friend Nagano has been trying to kill us again? He's no friend of mine, and what he does is none of my business. But when I catch somebody trying to break into my desk, it's my business. What do you expect to find in there, anyway? We were looking for some evidence against Regis and Nagano. And you expected to find it in there? Oh, now I understand. You believe I'm working with them made you think that? We know someone has been trying to kill us off so they can get our uranium mining concession. Naturally, we suspect anyone who's been friendly with Regis and Nagano. I see. Well, uh, what do you intend doing about it? We're going to turn the whole matter over to the police. Let them handle it. Well, I think I'd rather talk to the police and tell them how I had to shoot a couple of burglars. <laughs>
the truck and run into the river. Then find the gondo and bring him to the voodoo hut. I'll meet you there. All right. Well, we certainly have all the evidence we need against Kurgan now. We sure have. Not to get to town and tell the police our whole story. We'll pick you up later. Well, that's that. How long will it take us to walk back to town? Well, too long. We'd better ask the chief to send a message back with a native runner. How about Goss? I will send some natives to take care of him. Even if the chief sends his fastest runner with a message, it'll still be sometime tomorrow before the police can get out here. Yes, I know, Carol, but it's the best thing we can do. We may have trouble before then. Kurgan certainly knows he has to strike now or never. Chief, I think we've got a better chance of holding them off here than at the village. Yes, it will be better. I'm sure most of my people are loyal, but they won't fight well when their women and children are in danger. Then I suggest you get some of your people over here armed and ready. While you're doing that, I'll write a note to the police. Right. The chips are really down now. We'll have to wipe out the Americans, the girl, and the old chief before the police get here. We kill chief, too? Yes, he knows too much about us now. He'll have to go. You'll become chief in place of him. How many of your men can you get to help us? Only a few. A few with rifles will be enough. I don't like any part of it, Kurgan. I'm a natives with rifles to fight white men is pretty serious business. Africa won't be big enough to hold you when they hear about it. Nobody needs to hear about it. We've got to wipe out the Americans, the girl, and the old chief anyway. Then the Gondo will be chief. And the natives will tell any story that he orders them to. Isn't that right? We give men guns, they do what I say. And we're all set. You round up all the men that you can get and have them here in the morning. I'll have the rifles ready. Wamba. The scout says Naganto is coming with two white men and a number of natives. They all have rifles. The natives, too? I can't understand who would have armed them, but I can understand how the chance to get arms would tempt them to revolt. How long before the police can get here? They should come sometime today. Yeah, but there's no telling when. We'll have to fight our own battle. It looks like they're expecting us. Uh, that's still all right. We've got more rifles than they have. Tell them to spread out. Mbazi, Lakandoro. Chief, you take your men under cover. Use these boxes. Right. Carol, you get inside the shack. Cover that wall through the back window. Right. Pacey, Pacey!
drop that gun and walk over here. possibly shoot now. No, there's no other boat. for exposing Kurgan. We found enough evidence among his papers to prove his guilt. He sure made enough trouble for us. Yes. He was trying to run you off so he could get the uranium mining concession for his own country. We're very happy to know there'll be no more fighting. Only peace and quiet. <laughs> well, here's the guilty party. <laughs> <laughs> 